So your company was started, was doing business with a lot of entrepreneurial companies, but then you started doing business with Fortune 500, Fortune 100, Fortune 50 companies. Yeah. Was that a transition? You have to wear a coat and tie when you go see the CEOs of Fortune 50 companies, and how did that work? You might ex um, uh, associate you know, a Fortune 100 company with like the tech is a bit out of date and the user experience is a little bit clunky. If you talk to people inside those businesses, that's obviously not what they want. And so what we found is um, large uh, companies coming to us because they want to offer a really compelling user experience that's as good as all the tech guys might do. And so, you know, we're talking to Ford about, uh, you know, they obviously want to make it where you can just buy a car online. You know, you don't have to uh, necessarily go through the uh, the dealership. You know, we're working with Hertz. Uh, they want to modernize the car rental experience. Like, why can't you have everything within the Hertz app and have that be the payment experience rather than having to wait in line at the car rental counter? Uh, you know, Amazon similarly making it easy for people all around the world uh, to pay. You know, Urban Outfitters they want to uh, make it easy easy to you know, buy something online and return store or vice versa. And so we found all these large companies uh, tended to almost kind of look at the startups and what they're doing and say, we want to be able to deliver that caliber right, of right. customer experience. And so I think our uh, foundations in the tech world, in the startup world, were actually quite useful as we went to go talk to the large companies.